Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'll show you how you can quickly start creating a basic sales funnel using one of our pre-built templates in WP Funnels. Now, before I start creating funnels, I would like to point out a couple of things, all right? Uh, if you have used WooCommerce before and you already have products and you have things set up, then you don't need to worry about anything. You can go ahead and start creating your funnels. But if you haven't used WooCommerce yet and this is the first time you're using it, then you need to at least go through a few basic settings. You need to go to WooCommerce uh, settings and there you need to set up the basic general settings and you also need to set up the payment gateways all right now if you intend to use upsells and downsells after checkout for your funnels then you must uh, set up at least stripe or paypal as the payment gateway uh, and in future we will definitely work on more uh, but if you don't want to use upsell and downsell then pretty much any payment gateway should work uh, and once you've set those up uh, you can then go ahead and add a couple of products and that should be enough okay now when you went through the setup wizard during installations you have already selected your preferred page builder in this case i've selected elementor okay so now let me go ahead and start creating a sales funnel using one of our templates okay so initially when you come to wv funnels in the overview tab you'll see this button if you haven't created any funnels yet so i haven't so i'm seeing this button but when you create funnels they'll be listed over here okay to create a funnel you can either click on add new funnel or you can click on create your first funnel so let me just click on this one and once you click on it you can see this will show us all the templates that are available for your preferred page builder and you can also create a funnel from scratch now in this video we'll focus on using a template create a very basic funnel and then in the next video i'll show you how you can create a basic funnel from scratch okay so now you can see we have about seven templates right now some of them are free some of them are premium uh, by premium i don't mean you have to purchase it again if you are a pro user you'll get access to them already and we are working on more templates as i as i speak and in every month uh, we'll be releasing new templates over and over again okay so now any template you want you can just click on that and it'll give you a preview of the steps available in that template and you can get a quick glance of the design of the pages okay if you like the template uh, you can change the name of the template and click on import but if you don't like it you can just go back and choose another template now over here as well when you hover on any template you'll see this option called preview and import now if you want you can click on preview to see the funnel live in action uh, in one of the test servers or you can click on import and uh, the funnel will start importing so for this tutorial let me just import this template let me click on import and there you go uh, my funnel is imported and you can see that the funnel has loaded in our drag and drop canvas uh, which is basically one of our specialties the drag and drop canvas is something we brought in first time and this is just to make it easier for you to create funnels all right so now as you can see this one has the three basic steps the landing the checkout and the thank you these are the steps that you must have in any sales funnel all right uh sure i could have used a template that has upsell and downsell uh, but right now i want to focus on the basics so that you at least understand the basic of a sales funnel and then over the time i'm going to include more things to this funnel to improve this all right so don't worry about it i will show you upsell and downsell in future videos now since i have imported a template each of this page have their designs already imported let me just show you let me select the landing and click on preview and this will show me the preview of the landing page and as you can see this page already has the design set up you can see there are images there are uh, text the buttons all right now the buttons are our specialty i'll explain it to you later uh, but those are our widgets i'll show you how to use them in a future video now this page is already designed all you have to do is change a few content maybe the text uh, the images and maybe you can also toggle with the color to match your brand all right so let me just cross this out and go back to the canvas uh, the design is available for all the steps the landing the checkout and thank you and once your funnel steps are here and they're connected the very next important thing to do is to add the default or the main product that you want to offer using the funnel right so let's say this is a sales funnel for one one of your most popular products uh, let's say in my case it's an ebook okay so after I set up the landing, there's the checkout, there's a thank you. I have to define which product this is for and I will do that in the checkout step. Now let me show you. Once you click on the checkout step, uh, you have the option to click on settings, okay? 
Now, once you click on settings, this will take you to this page where you have the option to select the products. So this is where you choose and define what are the main products that you're making this funnel for. So let's say I'm gonna search for an ebook and there you go, design thinking. I'll just add product and you can see this is added. You can also add multiple products to the funnel. So that would mean this funnel is for multiple, multiple products at once, okay? So once you have added the product, click on save changes and cross it out. And now you'll see a little small change that in the checkout step, there was a label that said no product added and now it's gone. This means you have assigned the main product to the checkout step and this funnel is just about ready, okay? So all you need to do now is to change the contents and the funnel should be good to go. But remember, as I said, I've imported a template. That's why everything is already there. But when you create a funnel from scratch, there is more things to do, such as designing the page, using our widgets in the page so that the actions can be triggered to go to the next step, all right, and so on. Don't worry, in the next video, I'll show you the basics of that so that uh, you can go ahead and create at least a basic funnel from scratch. So anyways, now this funnel is just about ready. Uh, if I want now, I can add more steps to this by clicking on this button or I can add a condition. I can add many more things. I can change the funnel name from the drag and drop canvas and so on. But this funnel, all I need to do is change the content, some designs, and this is good to go. So that's it. That's how easily you can create a sales funnel uh, using one of our pre-built templates. Okay. Now in the next video, as I said, I'm going to show you how you can create a sales funnel from scratch using WP Funnels. All right. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.